end for the month of January. Happy New Year. If you'd like us to cover your city and your state, make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below so we can make sure that we cover you. So this month, we have many grants, from monthly grants, to startup grants, to multiple round grants, to multi-year grants, to $150,000 in grants, and grants in many states. Let's get started. I'm Rindy from Ask Rindy. Welcome. Please subscribe to the number one community for real estate, income, grants, and credit. So if you'd like to know what these new grants are for the month of January, those that are expiring that need to apply now, make sure you watch the video to the end. Leave a comment below if you need help with anything. So we're going to be sharing with you new grants every month. From work from home grants, to SBA grants, to small business grants, to self-employed grants, to fast grants, to financial assistance grants, to startup grants, and much more. And we're going to be updating our calendar section on my website, AskUnit.com, where you can download January's grants list. So what are your plans for your business this year? How do you plan to grow the business or start a business? If you need help with clarity and direction of how to get grants for your business, how to actually get sales for your business, or what type of business you need to be into, make sure you actually go to my website, AskUnit.com, and join our accountability group. We meet monthly and we have members from all around the country where we share strategies on how to actually get grants for our business and most importantly, how to set up a business that's always making money and how to actually get in position to get our business in a place where we can actually have multiple streams of income coming into our business. So if you'd like to join our accountability group, make sure you go to my website at astronaut.com, click on join and get started today and I'll see you inside. Number one, the NACE growth grants, $4,000 in grants. So NACE, the National Association for Self-Employed, is back at it once again with its new $4,000 grant program called the Growth Grant. So this is actually primarily for businesses that are members of NACE that are looking to try to expand through marketing and also growing their business by hiring. So since 2006, NACE has provided over $1 million in grants to small businesses in its organization. And they actually get this money and these funds from Dell Computers as well as the AARP. So this is actually a good source. You've heard us talk about the NACE grant here on my channel several times. This is actually one of the grant sources that you can actually turn to if you want to be plugged in with a grant source that may be able to give you grants consistently as well as guidance with your business. So to apply for this grant, you actually need to be a member of NACE and that's going to cost you about $120 a year. Now one thing you'll know with the NACE growth grant is that the grants can be used for marketing as well as ads. So they actually want you to use the grant to grow your business. It's important to understand that you need to have a strategy when it comes to grants of how to use the opportunity and the money that you have coming to you to scale. Instead of using it on expenses, that's not going to give you a return. You actually want to use something similar to this growth grant to scale and grow your business. So with the NACE growth grant, if they receive the application from you in January, oftentimes they will actually review it in January. So it's a quick turnaround. And they can actually do that because this grant is actually specifically for those who are members of their organization. So they give out $4,000 in grants frequently to members of the organization that actually apply for the grant and is very competitive. So if you'd like to become a NACE member, you can actually go directly to the website at NACE.org. You can sign up and you actually be in position to qualify to apply for this $4,000 in grants. Number two, Charlotte, North Carolina, $5 million in grants. So the foundation for the Carolinas and Wells Fargo is actually gearing up for this round three of its Beyond Open grant. So I've shared here extensively on my channel about the Beyond Open grant and actually how it's impacted so many businesses in that location with substantial grants from $10,000 all the way up to $150,000 in grants. So the Beyond Open grant is actually a competitive grant program focused on increasing economic mobility for businesses located in Charlotte's corridor of opportunity sector. So there's actually a specific sector for this where they focus on giving these grants, these $10,000 to $150,000 in grants for these businesses that are located in three sectors. So there's actually a specific sector where they're actually going to be focused on underserved entrepreneurs to be able to help them with this grant. And the grant can actually be used for real estate of all things. You can actually use this grant to help you with real estate. You can also use the grant for inventory. You can actually use the grant for technical assistance and also revitalization of your space. To qualify to apply for this $10,000 to $150,000 in grants, your business must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must be located in Charlotte. And number two, you must be actually located in one of the corridors of opportunities areas. 
Now to actually start the process of applying for this grant and signing up for round three, which is coming up next year in the spring, you can actually go to their website, add your email, click sign up, and they'll actually keep you updated as to actually how the progress is going and when they will be launching round three. So we actually wanna make sure that you have the information early and you're queued up if you're in that location or if you're planning to apply for grants in that location, like we teach you in our grants masterclass, you can actually be in position so you can actually are ready with the information or locked in with the grant source for their round three to launch. They just closed out round two and they gave out millions of dollars in grants to businesses. So this is actually the third round that's gonna be coming up in the spring. Now, the one thing I like about this grant program is that when they receive your application, they actually review it and they do everything within one month. As I've shared here on my channel, there's a difference between short-term grants and long-term grants. If your needs are short-term, make sure you're applying for a short-term grant. If your needs are more long-term and you don't have an immediate need, you can actually uh, leverage yourself by actually applying for a long-term grant, which tend to actually be sometimes more money. So it's important to note that grants are free money and these grants do not need to be paid back. So if you'd like to learn more and get on the list to be able to apply for round three of the Beyond Open grant, you can actually go directly to their website at beyondopenclt.com. Number three, the Zen Business Grant, $5,000 in grants. So Zen Business, a business formation service, is actually giving out over 40 grants to entrepreneurs and businesses this year. And they're gearing up for their 2024 season where they actually give out monthly grants. So this is actually one of the monthly grants that we include in our starter pack. So this is actually one of the monthly grant sources, similar to those that you'll find in our grant starter pack on my website, askfinney.com. So with the grant and the money, you also get live coaching as well as access to tools. So they actually have a growth center. Now, being a business formation service, they actually have a vested interest in seeing your business grow because if they actually help you to grow, you can actually refer more people and actually come back to them and it can grow their business. So with these businesses, there's always a give and take. They always have a purpose for setting up some of these platforms to be able to help you, specifically business formation services. Now you want a business formation service that's gonna help you properly set up your business, and Zen is one of the options of the few that are out there to actually help you set up your business and also grow and scale your business. Now as I shared, this is actually a monthly grant of $5,000, and to qualify to apply for this $5,000 in grants, you need to meet the following criteria. Number one, you must be a Zen customer. Number two, you must be 18 years or older. Number three, you must have been a Zen customer for at least the last three to six months. Number four, you must be a for-profit business. And number five, you can apply once a month. So this is actually a monthly grant that you can actually apply for if you fit the criteria and you're a member of Zen, you can actually apply for this grant every single month. So as I shared, we're actually sharing this information early with you so you can actually lock in with Zen and be ready for the 2024 season. So if you'd like to learn more and get more information about this $5,000 in grants and apply for this grant, you can actually go directly to their website at zenbusiness.com. Number four, Massachusetts, the Pittsfield Glow Up Grant, $10,000 in grants. So Downtown Pittsfield Inc. is extending its deadline for round two of his Glow Up Grant. So we shared extensively on my channel at Ask Randy about the Glow Up Grant and the benefits it has for underserved entrepreneurs. Now the Glow Up Grant is coming from ARPA funds and is a business improvement grant focused specifically on helping underserved entrepreneurs in impacted areas. So for this particular grant, there are three areas that have been impacted. Number one is 9001, which is the downtown area. Number two is the 9002 area, which is actually the Morningside area. And number three, the 9006 area, which is actually the West Side area. Now for this particular grant, they actually use a grading system to determine the winner, and the grants can be used for physical improvements to the retail space and to your actual storefront. To qualify to apply for this $10,000 in grant, you must meet the following criteria. Number one, you actually must have been in business since January of 2021. Number two, you must be a for-profit business. Number three, you must be located in Massachusetts. Number four, you must be a legally registered business and current with the state on taxes. And number five, you must not have applied for this grant previously. So this is actually a second round grant and they don't want people who've actually applied in round one to apply for this grant. That's actually a restriction on this particular grant program. So as I shared earlier, this is actually an extension on this grant. The grant was actually set to expire previously, but they've extended the deadline to January 31st. So the deadline is actually January 31st, and the awards will be announced on March 31st. So if you'd like to get more information and apply for this $10,000 in grants, you can actually go directly to their website at downtownpittsfield.com. Number five, Iowa, Des Moines. 
the center at six grant, $700,000 in grants. So center at six, a business incubator, just recently received a new $700,000 grant from the Wells Fargo Foundation. So the incubator specifically focused on historically black neighborhoods. In this case, the historic center street neighborhood. So this is actually a neighborhood that was previously a buzzing metropolis for businesses. It was actually thriving and it actually went downhill. So they're looking to actually use this grant and these funds to be able to help businesses to revitalize, to actually revitalize the community and lift the community and start to actually get more commerce moving through that community. Now currently the incubator is being very strategic and they're currently doing test runs with businesses to be able to see how they can actually not only get anchors in place, which right now they actually have two main anchors, but they're looking to actually help over 450 businesses and scale to thousands of businesses. So they actually have plans of not only developing their main location, which is actually gonna be forecast to impact an $8 million project, but they actually focus on how they're gonna help businesses facilitate not only getting grants, but also how to help them grow their businesses. And that's the value of incubators. If you can actually tap in with the right incubators, it can actually be a game changer and really help your business scale because oftentimes they actually have connections. They can connect the dots for you, not only on grants, but it also can actually connect you with other business sources for funding where you actually need money, you need capital, or you need help with actually guidance with your business. You need someone who's actually going before you in that business and can give you guidance. Incubators are a good connection point for that. So we've included many incubators from all around the country in our resource area on my website, asreading.com. So if you'd like to learn more about this Center at Six grant program and how you can actually get in on the ground floor for their launch next year, you can actually go directly to their website at dsm.city. Number six, Colorado, the city of Cortez. $10,000 to $50,000 in grants. So the city of Cortez recently launched a new grant program for entrepreneurs and small businesses, which is actually part of a two-year grant program. So this is actually a community business preservation grant program. And the grant program is actually being administered by the Colorado Office of Economic Development. Now keep in mind with these grant funds, the grant proceeds must be spent by April of 2026. So this is actually a two-year grant program and they must spend the money. There are grants like this that do exist around the country where they, when the funds are given, they must be spent by a specific amount of time. Now you see these sometimes with foundations, but you also see them with economic development offices where they actually have a timeline on when the funds must be dispersed. And this was why some grant programs start to reach out to businesses in the local area as a rush so they can get the capital out. They need to get the money spent before the deadline. So for this particular grant, the grant proceeds can actually be used for business expenses as well as building improvements. And to qualify and to apply for this $10,000 to $50,000 in grants, you must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must be located in Colorado. Number two, your business must have been in business since September of 2021. Number three, you must be a for-profit business. And finally, number four, you must be a retail operation. So for this grant, they actually want to focus on people who actually have retail businesses because they're giving you the money for physical improvements, for building improvements, and they're targeting six businesses for this particular grant. Now this is actually gonna be very competitive. In Colorado, they actually have many communities and they're gonna narrow it down to seven communities. And out of those seven communities total, they're gonna choose six businesses. And the deadline to apply for this $10,000 to $50,000 in grants is January 3rd. So if you'd like to apply for this grant, you can actually go directly to their website at cortezco.gov. Number seven, Ohio, Dayton, $1,500 in grants. So the United Way of Dayton is offering a new one-year grant for advertising for small businesses. And they're gonna be focusing on helping 20 small businesses with ad grants. Grants that can actually help the business get exposed and get marketing to their right customers so they can actually get more sales coming into their business. And for this particular grant, they're gonna be giving businesses an opportunity to market their businesses on their Prosperity Key digital platform, which they've established in 2021. So since 2021, they've been actually queuing and moving businesses through. This is actually a resource and a platform to connect people with businesses. So this is actually a good opportunity for the business to get exposure. To qualify to apply for this $1,500 in grants, the business must meet two criteria. Number one, the business must commit to at least two years on the Prosperity Key platform. And number two, the business must have 500 or less employees. So this grant is actually given on a first come first serve basis. And it's actually $1,500 that can be an ad grant for business if you decide to apply for this grant. So if you'd like to learn more about this $1,500 in grants and apply for it, you can actually go directly to their website at dayton-unitedway.org. Number eight, New York, 
the GJDC grant, $2,500 in grants. The Greater Jamaican Development Corporation is distributing $2,500 in grants to over 150 businesses throughout Queens. And this is actually part of a community building program and a larger picture that they have in order to really help businesses. Now it's very important to understand that many businesses specifically in Queens and also the outer boroughs are facing rent hikes, commercial rent hikes from their landlords and they can't keep up. So maybe they actually had revenue and they were able to actually stay afloat but with the rent hikes it's taking them up to actually moving more money out of their pocket and actually putting them in the negative. Now grants like these can go a long way in helping them to either reshape themselves where they're going to use the money to target marketing or they can actually use the money for business expenses to really help them in their monthly rent payments. Now for this grant program, they actually focus specifically on entrepreneurs of color and underserved entrepreneurs. And to qualify and to apply for this $2,500 in grants, you must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must be a for-profit business. Number two, you must be located in Queens. And number three, you must have your business registered with the state of New York. So if you'd like to apply for this $2,500 in grants, you can actually go directly to their website at jgdc.org forward slash grant. So this is just a few of the new grants for the month of January. We couldn't cover all the grants as we try not to keep the videos too long. If you'd like us to cover your city and your state, make sure you drop your city and state in the comment section below so we can make sure that we cover you. Also, if you'd like to get your business on the right trajectory and getting grants consistently for your business and actually having the tools and also the formula of how to get grants consistently, regardless of what your background is, whether you've actually gotten a grant before, whether you know how to actually apply for grants, you should not be paying people to apply for grants. You should be applying on your own. You should learn how to do it for yourself and know how to actually lift your business financially, not only in sales, but also in grants. So if you'd like to learn more about how to actually get the formula for grants and know how to actually do this consistently, make sure you go to my website at ashwinder.com, click on grants, you can actually join our grants masterclass. So our grants masterclass has been the top masterclass for grants with entrepreneurs from all around the country. In this masterclass, in our network, using the tools and the formula for grants that we shared inside the masterclass to put their business in a place where you can actually get grants for their business. So if you'd like to learn more about this, you can actually go directly to my website at ashwinder.com, click on grants, or you can actually comment grants in the comment section below and we'll send you a link so you can actually learn more about how to get grants for your business. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me anytime. My email address is askrandynetwork at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.